Hello everybody, Dave here. Hello everybody, Dave here. Hopefully I do a bit better this week than last week. Uh, this is my second uh, live free guitar lessons. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, last week I managed not to notice. I thought nobody came online and was viewing me and then afterwards realized somebody did leave some messages there and I didn't see them. Maybe they came up afterwards. Um, anyhow, um, so did we wash our hands before we start to play if we watch my first video very very basic just wash your hands keep your guitar clean wipe it down before and after you play give the strings a little bit of a wipe get some of the oils off that you got in your fingers from eating that kfc fried chicken grease whatever the hell it is you're eating anyhow <laughs> today we're going to work on uh, two fingers. We're going to be start playing with two fingers. Last week, I kind of finished off trying to show one finger, and hopefully you're practicing stuff like changing with the fingers, or even twinkle, twinkle, little star we worked on. Um, uh, what else? Uh, tune your guitar. Um, right now, your top string, which is your sixth String, remember we counted them. String number one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, ignore the fact I have a 12 string here. Um, uh, you, your guitar, your six string sounds like this. Your fifth string will sound like this. Find that, hit pause till you find that tune. I'm um, also on the same thing. Notice as my fifth string sounds like this. So does my fifth fret of my sixth string. Same as my fifth fret of my fifth string of my fourth string. It's a neat way for tuning a guitar and you'll go down that way. I showed this last week. Um, same as your uh, fourth string on the fifth fret to your third string. Sounds the same. Now here's where you got your little change. It's your third string, you drop down to your fourth fret to match your fifth string. Last one, go back to your fifth fret. That's second string to first string. Anyhow. Um, also, I showed you a little bit of a warm. Hello, hello, Claudio Santos. Hello, how are you? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, I don't, I don't know if you'll get much out of this for basic guitar lessons, but hello. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Um, so remember, I was trying to show you one th practice I used to do back before I would play is I would exercise my fingers. And you, I start to do this and I would do it at work. Maybe you're at school, you're gonna climb your fingers like this. And then go backwards. Maybe you're at school, you do it. Maybe you're riding the bus while you're riding the bus. You just sit there and you do that on your, you know, you might have your hand sitting on your leg and you're just doing that, constantly doing that. So you get the little roll going with your fingers. Because you want to do this, I used to say to myself, I would have to do this exercise two times before I'm ready to start playing. done that in years and brings back a lot of memories a lot of cramps in the hand you'll get a lot of cramps happening in your hand but you're going to build the strength in your hand and you're going to be working so that's just a finger exercise you work on and pressing down uh, getting your fingertips sore remember uh, we want to start sliding your fingers up putting them in a lot of pressure okay so today we're going to work on using two fingers on top of two fingers, we're going to also use two strings, start playing on two strings. We've been playing on one string, you know, even if it's on string number one. Now, 
Now we're going to use two strings. So now we're going to go like this. Two fingers. We'll take our index finger and we'll take our ring finger. And we're going to keep them. String number six, up two frets, string number five. See, it stays like that, nice little space there. And you're going to hit the top two strings. Now, if you get enough pressure, it's basically a bore up what's called a bar chord. And if you want to get a bit better at it, just you're going to find you're going to want to start writing songs immediately. But keep this formation again, two fingers, keep that one space in there. And generally, if you stay on the dots on your fretboard, like your dots here which play a lot of significance, keeps you wanting to know where you're at in your guitar. If your guitar should be tuned standard, ignore the fact I have a capo or a capo. Um, my guitar is tuned way down, so your guitar should sound just like mine without this. And we're counting from your nut, which is the end here, counting. So we'll call my nut as my capo. That's my nut. Your nut is your white piece at the end of your guitar. Uh, your nut, my nut is the capo, so we'll count from the nut up, right? Um, so maybe you want to go to the third fret up. Maybe you want to do it string, a little hard for your hand to reach up over there. If you're young and you just got a guitar, maybe you're 9, 10 years old, a bit hard to reach your hand up there, we're going to start you off down here. Go to string number two, index finger, number two. Ring finger. That's this finger beside your baby finger. String number one, but up two frets. So always keep this open space right here. You have an open space in that fret. String number two, fret number three. String number one, fret number five. And hit up on them. If you want to get really good at it, try to hit just the two. Take your hand, use your baby finger, set down on the guitar there so you know where your hand's at, okay? Rest this part of your hand along the bridge. This is where you get, you'll know where your hand's at at all time. This is so it's not like you're coming in and where, where am I in here? You want to hit, you know, specifically somewhere. Take your hand. Rest it here. Again, then we'll take our index finger, string number two, our ring finger, string number one, and hit the two of them. Try to hit on a down string, just the two strings. Stay in that formation and go up the, to the next bars, dots on your fretboard. Now, this is the easiest part. All the way down here, imagine that my nut, your white part, your white part on your guitar, that's called your nut. Imagine that's my finger now, my index finger. So I take my index finger off now. All I have to play is my ring finger. So all I need is that open fret. So I have it on a fret, second string, where it's the nut. I leave an open fret, then I go third string. So there. Come on. Always staying in the formation of one open fret between the two. And you can almost come up with every single chord or tone or note that you could think of. Remember, there's only seven notes, seven chords in music. It's your A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. But 
in those chords, you have sharps, um, majors, minors, um, sevens. Uh, I don't know all those, but I'll show you a lot of them how to play them though. Um, again, so we'll go back to this. So let's say if you're an old duffer like me, there was a first thing we learned was a thing called smoke on the water. Uh, if you're young, you're not familiar with it, uh, but maybe you're, if you got a, your pops around, go ask your dad or your grandpa. I'm sure they might know it. Anyhow, it would go like this on your two strings. Again, always keeping the two fingers, two fingers like that. Now, try and try and try, even if your hands are small, reach all the way around, get them up on these strings up here. You want to try to get up here, up into these strings, because you want to be able to cover the whole neck. So, And that's where you'd be doing more of a, what's called this bar chording. it is to start making music um, that's the fun of it um, this stuff took me years to do you want to get even a little bit more creative try picking one string then the next string transfer down I'm gonna go all the way down here now I'm gonna take my ring finger I'm going to stay on the fifth string and I'm going to slide all the way down to the second fret which is from my capo but it would be from your knob and I'm going to lift my index finger off and I'm going to allow my capo or my capo to replace this finger so it'll still be making that sound so basically I'm keeping the same formation I'm going to keep that one fret space that's what we want is that one fret space at all times. I have the one fret space here. So if I'm going to slide down, I'm going to keep that one fret space here. If I was way up here, I'm still going to keep that one fret space. At no time am I stretching it out to three. Okay. This is just some basic bar chording. Now, here we go. I'm going to slide all the way down. my fingers in that same position at all times. That's how come a lot of guitar players are piano players. The piano tunes are done very, very similar. Um, same way. Um, now, you get practice and you start doing that. Um, we used to do a Cars tune. Uh, I don't want you coming here. Wasting all my time. I can't remember exactly how it went, though. Here's a good uh, look up the cars. I don't want you coming here. It's probably in the wrong tone, the wrong uh, note, or the wrong key, as they call it. Um, when you hear somebody refer to a song key, what key is it in? They want to know what note. It can only be in seven keys A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Key is the same as the, the note or, or what chord. And usually they're referring to the start of the song. So where you start off is where you can lead to the song. Um, so that's where you get, somebody might ask you what the key is in. So this here is in the key of C. See, that's a C. So it's like, that's what you'd say if you're starting off in that. I do it up here. Here we go. Wasting all my time when you're standing all so near, I kind of lose. 
See how simple it is to play songs? Um, two fingers, that's all that is. Um, try it, let's try it up on for your smaller ones. Uh, you're young, you're just starting out. Uh, let's try it out with your two fingers. We'll do it on strings. Uh, uh, one, two, three, and four. And what we're going to do here is, I'm sorry, I skipped the whole fact that I'm transitioning you now from keeping your fingers not only in the two space this way, up and down on the dots, on those frets, it's like your third, your fifth, your seventh fret. Um, now I'm also having to transition from here I'm playing string two and one, if you're counting from your index finger. Now we'll go to string three and four. Or, or that would be string three and two. So it'll be. That's not going to work. <laughs> we got to play up here. Anyhow, we're going to play strings five and four, and we're going to transition to five and or six and five. Keeping your fingers in that position. Here's another neat, neat little thing we're going to start doing now. Two fingers. Now here is where you're going to start to be able to play in front of people. Once you start doing this, you're good to go get in front of people and uh, start playing. Uh, a lot of great guitarists, all they claim is um, the blues. They love the blues. So uh, here's just some basic blues sounding, and we're playing on two strings. And we're going to use two fingers and we're going to play on string number six and five hit the two at the same time then we're going to move our finger up one string staying right there but we're going to try to hit string five and four at the same time then we're going to go back and then the last part of playing all blues is still with just two fingers. You're going to take your index finger or your ring finger, and you're going to leave your index finger where it's at. You're going to put your ring finger on string number four, fret number four. So we, what have we done again? We've created that pattern with that open fret space. That's the whole trick of everything is have that space. Hey, bus goal, thanks, man. Just have that space that's in between there, in between your frets. And that's the third part of uh, the blues. So basically, you can go like this. Again, we're going to use two fingers, and I hope your fingers are getting sore. This might be a little fast for you. But you got your guitar, you're dying to start showing people. They're probably like, show me what you can play. Play us something, play us something. Don't go playing twinkle, twinkle, little star on one string. Um, do something like this now, okay? String five and four. One, two, six and five again. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Two fingers now, just add your ring finger, string number four, fret number four, and try to hit those two strings. One, two, one, two.
then you're going to bring yourself down to what was the second formation is just your index finger, string number four, but you're hitting string five and four. Back to string six and five. Keep that steady, 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 one, two, one, two, one, two going. Um, by the end of this lesson, I'm going to show you the neatest little trick that's really going to make this sound a lot sweeter. Um, oh, hopefully you're, uh, you get something out of this. But you'll be ready to start playing in front of people too. And go ahead, make up your own blues. Um, very first blues I used to make up uh, just to have a little bit of fun with it was uh, – was, we called it the, the, the shit house blues. And it was all about being uh, out at the cottage and going to the outhouse when you had some real bad cramps and uh, uh, finding out there was no toilet paper there. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the blues, man. <laughs> that's the true blues anyways, as far as I'm concerned. Anyhow, I'll go back to the two strings and here we are. Back to index finger only. And we're going to have it string number five. Then. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now we're going to move up to string. We're just going to move our finger up one string, but we're going to play the next two strings. One, two, one, two, one, two. Then we're going to go back. Then we're going to add our index finger on the 4th fret, but play the 5th and 4th string. We're going to go down to the... Just an automatic transition sounds so cool when you do that. the fun of it. You can break your own. Yeah, I got me to do. There's no more paper on the road. Very simple. Add the index finger. I got some cramping in. There's no place to go. Once you can play this, you'll be playing this all night long and you'll be just humming away. You'll be sitting there writing down stuff and it's like doing your own blues. Maybe it's this. I lost my dog this morning. He ran away from me. Fun. Make it up as you go. I lost my dog this morning. He ran away from me. Took him out for a walk, and the goat he ate. Sorry, he got a little carried away there. Anyhow. You get the gist of it. One finger, one finger, two fingers, two fingers, two strings. What do we do? We count. We're using finger number one, finger number three, ignoring finger number two. So we're ignoring. Finger number two would be on that fret. We're not placing them at all anywhere. We're just playing with two fingers. Simple bar chords. Old Black Sabbath tune. Um, again, this is for the old duffers. That 
that is difficult. That would be difficult for you to play. Uh, but you really want to challenge yourself? Go listen to it and use just your two fingers uh, right here. I am Iron Man. By now, you're starting to realize, if you were starting to work on your two fingers, you're starting to realize this hand here, hitting, it's just as difficult to play with this hand correctly on the strings as it is to play with this hand correctly forming, pressing down on the strings where we want them. So this is where we need to start working on this hand too at the same time, okay? Bridge your hand. I already gave you a little quick lesson. This part of your hand you're gonna put on the bridge. It's called a bridge, so put your hand here, bridge your hand here. Um, uh, so now it tells me exactly where my strings are. At the same time, I got my baby finger kind of touching down here on the guitar. See that? Not touching the strings, but I'm bridge, touch. Um, this is a big, big reason why I could not reiterate enough in the first lesson. Keep a rag close by. Keep your guitar clean. Wash your hands before you play the guitar. Wipe the guitar down before you play it and after you play it. Respect your instrument. And, uh, so again, you want to put this part of your hand on the bridge of your guitar. Uh, baby finger there. And uh, so this will tell you where you're at. Try to go faster. Like a rockabilly. I got me the blues and I don't know where to go. I got me the blues and I have no place to go. But I see everybody. No one knows anybody. I got me the blues and I don't have no See where my hand is? Helps me control where I'm at. See, I play those two strings, string five and four, strings six and five, five and four, five and four. Six and five, all because I have my baby finger touching here, rest of my hand anchored on here so I know where I'm at. On top of this, this is going to come in so handy if you start to practice keeping your hand here. Don't be windmilling it. Uh, you'll be losing your pick like I just did. <laughs> uh, this will come in so handy because you're going to find a lot of songs later on. Um, you use your hand actually on the strings here to give you a little bit of muffleization and a little bit of a better rhythm. So it, uh, I'll try to see if I can do something here. There's just a straight D chord strumming. Um, let me see if, what would happen if I try to kind of give it a little bit of a flare. two fingers that's coming down the road strumming and playing along the chords like that but this is something you'd have to look forward to if you want to stick along with these lessons I'm gonna take you on a journey to playing guitar just like I play it and better um, maybe you go so far then you'll take off somewhere else and go learn somewhere else but we're back to two finger playing again for you younger ones um two fingers let's play
does anybody out there and you want to know any type of question whatsoever uh, we could fast forward if uh, you had a live question or a request you would like to uh, uh, hear or learn um, I'm here for you this is just basically lesson number two for beginners uh, for anybody to go back on if they first get a guitar and they want to learn how to play it um, I'm going to go live every single week. Hopefully in an hour, I'll show you what took me two years. So we're up to almost year number four of me playing. Actually, I was playing some chords, I guess, by year number four. So I'm going to show you a little bit of a flair we got here. We're playing with two fingers, right? And I show you how to keep that space in there. Okay. Now we're going to put our finger index finger string number five fret number two from your nut remember my nut is my capel your nut is your white part down here <laughs> which is in front of your headstock which is holding your machine heads which is holding your tuner knobs again we work on those names so we don't forget it and they come down here to the bridge with the guitar pegs <laughs> And here we go. Uh, take one finger, string number five, fret number two. Now remember, we're trying to work on the blues kind of here. So what we're going to do here is, remember I showed you leave that two, the two fret space between your fingers at all time? We're going to keep that idea, but now we're going to play the same string on and off. And we're just going to play it from... We're going to have our index finger is going to play the same pattern of being string number five, fret number two. The next note we're going to go to is we're going to go string number four, fret number two. Then we're going to go back and we're just going to alternate back and forth, back and forth. But at the same time, every second hit of the two strings, we're going to add our ring finger two frets up one two so it's going to sound like this then you're going to go up to your next string starting to hear it We're going to go way out a limb here and we're going to jump up two sets of strings now instead of going to string four and five we're going to go to string three and four back to four and five one and two or five and six sorry but we'll just stick to the first top four strings okay and here Take your hand, anchor it on your bridge, so you know where your hand's at. It's just that short motion. I know I don't have to go all the way down. And you start, your hand starts to learn that measure, the length of the strings. You start to know where to hit them. But we'll go back to this, just the top two strings. Got it. Once you start getting that sounding clear, challenge yourself. We're going to go up a set of two strings. It's not only a challenge for this hand, it's a challenge for this hand. This is why here's the secrets to it. Baby finger, touch them right there. Not touching the string, be well below the string. Hand here on the bridge gives me my my measurement where I'm at, find the top string, rest my pick on it. Now I feel that. I know where that is. And I only want to go that far. I don't want to go that far. It's too far for two strings. And your hand will automatically learn that measure. So back to the two strings. Two strings, one finger, and we're going to on one, off. On, off. On, off. On, off. Up 
two strings now. If you can do it that smooth, get on stage in front of people now. <laughs> Crazy Tim, how are you, my gamer friend? Thank you so much for stopping by. Nice to see you, Tim. Uh, just doing some, <laughs> you need to buy a guitar. Cool, you buy a guitar, I'll show you everything I know how to do. No problem. Uh, you go buy a guitar. <laughs> Don't buy an expensive one, though. Cheap, cheap, buy a cheap one. <laughs> cool. Anyhow, I'm going back to two finger playing and we're playing blues and we take our one finger, second fret, second string, and we're going to take our ring finger, that's third finger, and we're going to stay on the same string, fourth fret. Keep doing that. Then go up two strings. Back to where you were. Almost like a horse going through the desert, you know, I feel like a cowboy. <laughs> By now your muscles and your tendons in your hand right here start to get sore. This is what you need to do though. You're gonna go through these growing pains of uh, playing guitar and uh, hopefully your fingertips get sore. Uh, I can't, I have absolutely no pain at all on my hand, uh, nothing in the fingertips at all. Um, you'll get that way really fast, uh, within six months guaranteed. Uh, you will, you'll sit back and you'll think about your fingers I remember how they used to hurt. <laughs> and uh, it's like Brian Adams said in the song, played it till my fingers bled. Uh, true, probably. Uh, if you had some rusty strings, I'm sure your fingers would bleed. Um, so we'll get back to the two finger. Again, anchor your hand onto the bridge so you know where to hit. So you know these two strings and you know those two strings. <laughs> Ah, everybody can play, Tim. You keep play, playing, though, man. You're good at those games. I can't play games worth crud. I cannot play a video game or a computer game. I can't see that navigation and figure out which way to go. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Anyhow, I'm going to add one little part to the blues. Now we're gonna keep, remember we go back to our first lesson, two fingers. First lesson is string, one string up and keep that space. So we're playing like this. We're gonna play the same thing like this. When we get to this, caught that? So it's. Here it's 
going to get hard. Got that? It's string number five, fret number two, string number four, fret number four. So it's just adding your index finger or adding your ring finger up two frets, up one string, playing the next two strings. So your blues, that completes your three chords to what they call 12 bar blues. Um, so we'll do that again. simple that is um, well again it's going to take you a lot of practice to even just to get it to be sound that smooth and uh, once you start getting that smooth you just keep on improving it and improving it and improving it and improving it um, just staying with that alone again now I might take this part of my hand rather than just rest it on the bridge I might rest it on the strings here a little bit give me a little bit of a different sound <laughs> Just those three chords, two fingers, two strings at a time. Um, start making music. You're ready to go play in front of people. Uh, start writing songs. You can. Uh, now, um, you want to, uh, let's see if we can try to find a two-finger chord for you. Here's a good two-finger chord. It is the E minor, I think it's called. A full E is done with three strings. We're just going to do two. You're going to take your index finger and your middle finger. Going to put it on string number five, fret number two, string number four, fret number two. This is a full string chord. You can hit all of them. Open. Now, this is the fun thing about playing guitar and exploring guitar. Once you find something that you think sounds okay, position on your fingers, go up two frets, see what sounds like. Almost dreamy. Just moving around, up and down the fret, just with those two fingers. Maybe even go up two strings. Let's see what happens if we go up two strings. Now, we'll, two fingers. Keep them in. This is a cool thing. Keep them in that position. Let's strum that. 
Let's see what that sounds like strumming. Just those two fingers in that position. Sounds pretty, you know why? Because you play with this hand, the pick in it, um, plucking the strings clearly. Um, it'll take you a while, but that's something to strive towards. You want to strive to a nice little chiming sound. On top of keeping my two fingers this way, I'm still going to use the same two fingers. I'm going to go up like this. I'm going to go down like this. Instead of going all the way down like that, I'm going to try it like that. So let's see what we get. Two finger playing, that's all that is. Again, we'll anchor our hand here so we know where it's at. And uh, maybe you want to just, maybe just uh, pluck the two string. That's a bit too far. <laughs> Again, but we're playing the E minor chord. Once you got it with these two fingers and your fingers are so sore and you think you've got it, then you're gonna, I'm going to get you to change it now. You're going to play with your two middle fingers. The reason why we're going to be doing this, and we'll learn it both ways. That's the cool thing about self-taught guitar. You can play it two different ways, maybe three different ways. Some songs may require you to play it with these two fingers because you may need this finger added down here. That's a full E major. This is an E minor, I believe. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Mr. Vin. <laughs> cool. Anyhow, we're back to our two string learning. Hopefully, we got the learning down on the two strings. Now we're going to start up. Instead of starting way down here on string number six and five, let's start on string number five and four. And we're going to add that in there. Practice, practice, practice. You will get that easily, easily, easily. Um, go find a song that you really like. Um, 
a real good one is uh, Adele's Adele song. Uh, uh, her biggest song that she ever did. You could, if you had, you could have it all. Um, Go to that song if maybe that's your type of music. Uh, easy, find your bar chord. Stay in that. In actuality, this formation on the first four strings, you will find every single possible sounding uh, virtually chord uh, that's out there. Uh, so you go turn on any one of your songs and you key on one of their key notes and you start searching through and you're going to find it uh, real fast before you hit your strings number five and four way up and running out of frets. So you would go like this. find whatever chord it is you're looking for. Then you want to start getting really fancy with this hand. Uh, and uh, here's one thing you can start exercising this hand for. Um, love trains. I don't know who doesn't like trains. Uh, trains are fantastic. Uh, just fascinating, especially the older trains. Uh, Go check out a channel, Wolverine uh, uh, 7655, something like that uh, is a number. Um, I have him on one of my videos, though. He did puts up some great ones with train pictures and stuff like that. Um, so you want to work on a train. So you're going to take your hand. You're just going to lightly touch the string. So you don't hear anything. Not hard. Pressing hard now. Now we're going to start, we want to hit all the strings, get a good grip on your, your guitar pick. Um, here's a good little tip. Uh, you get a guitar pick, uh, you're new to holding a guitar pick, you drop your guitar pick all the time. You find that they're, they're kind of smooth, like this one is here. Uh, let me get that in the focus. Anyhow, that's a smooth guitar pick, and it, it tend to want to, slip out of your hands and if you get really shredding and you know the oils get going on your hands they tend to slide out of your hands um so i like to use a nylon pick when i'm playing my 12 string this is nylon it's a nylon uh, more or less plastic but it's got little grooves on it and it helps you so you're not gonna drop it you see that see that that's all kind of raised so it stays in your fingers easier to hold and you can tell Keep that tip there because not only do guitar picks want to fly out of your hands, they want to spin around. They want to, they turn around and stuff like that. So you want to hold it pretty tight. And this is what you're going to do now. You're going to start working on your rhythm. And you're going to hold on that guitar pick tight so you don't lose it. fancy to your friends just start moving your hand up and down like that but still just only touch it um there is a you will get a tone on fret number 12 from your nut and that's your harmonics if you lightly touch it and hit at the same time that's called harmonics you also get it 12 and 7 that takes a lot a lot of practice so again, we're going to work on this hand, get that rhythm going. OK, 
Okay, quick little uh, wrap up here, back to two finger playing. We always want to keep two spaces. We want to anchor this hand onto the bridge. We want to bridge it there. Maybe take your baby finger, put it on the guitar there. I'm not touching your string, my string's right here. Fingers down there. So what does that do? That gives us the measure of where our hand is playing. So we know where we're playing. Now I'm gonna give you a little bit of a demonstration of where this will all lead to. This two finger and this part here, and uh, will lead to like you're playing blues more along the lines like this. Now I'm gonna add in some extra fingers here, of course, because I'm beyond the two finger. Two fingers. Okay, I add in my baby finger there. But it's all in that concept of smoke on the water, two strings. Remember we learned it on the one string? strumming just to wrap it up uh, next week lesson we're going to learn three chords I did show you a little introduction to this chord if you have a 12 string it will sound pretty like that that sounds so nice I think Thanks for stopping by, Tim. I'll be over checking your channel always, my friend. Always there to support you. Love to see you playing the games. Thanks for stopping by, bud. Next week, we're going to learn chords. So next week, by the end of the uh, guitar lesson, uh, we're going to learn even how to play a full song. Uh, for a song I ever learned how to play, uh, Knock Knocking on Heaven's Door uh, by Bob Dylan. Not Guns N' Roses. Guns N' Roses does do a killer version, but you really want to get the true feeling. Listen to Mr. Dylan doing it. Uh, that's true. So let's... that lesson works next week we'll be working on three chords um uh, diligently uh gonna get tougher and tougher as we go but it's gonna get fun um 
So again, this week, work on your two strings. Even maybe use your baby finger or your thumb. Thanks for watching.